Hi guys, welcome for another what's in my bag video and for this month I have decided just to show you something completely different from the usual what's in my bag videos. Um, the bag that I have been showing you so far is my daily bag but I do carry with me another bag when I'm at work at the office and this is the briefcase I take basically with me um, and this comes with me only when I'm at the office so there are days when I work from home there are days when I have to travel for work and there are days when I'm at the office so basically this briefcase just comes with me whenever I'm at the office what you will be seeing in here is what is a constant in this bag um, so I basically all the time just um, take them with me and if I'm not using them um, they will go back into this briefcase um, for obvious reasons because they are confidential and I can't show you um, on camera I have taken out a bunch of documents that I have um, related to a project I'm working on but for the other things everything you will see is a constant in this bag so let's get started and let's take you into it so the first thing that I've got here is a hair clip as you can see and I do have very very long hair and many of the times when I have specific important meetings I just keep uh, my hair down but as soon as I get out of those meetings I have to tie it up because it's hot, it's summer and I can't keep it on my shoulders. I'm sure that those people that do have long hair like me will understand me very much. Um, but it's annoying at times. I'm thinking about cutting it, but I'm so afraid I will regret it. I don't know. But anyway, I can get on rambling on it for a very long time. And this is the what's in my bag video. So, what I've got here, this bag just have a zip pocket at the back. And the only thing that I have here are my office keys and my access card and a bunch of other things. So nothing else in there and let's open up the main compartment which it does have all this stuff in it so this is basically what you will see when you open this briefcase so let's get started from the front the first thing that you have in the front pocket because it does have a pocket it's a foldable bag I think I've purchased these on eBay four years ago and they are holding very very well it's a foldable bag just in case I need an extra bag then I have this very small pen which is blue ink um, and I just keep it there just in case then I've got a pocket and this is one of the lifesavers I have in this briefcase because this is a portable hard disk and here I do have um, the files that I use for work and also a backup of the folders and files I do have on my home laptop so it's a um, sort of a synchronization sort of a backup of everything I have to work on um, because whenever I need to work on something instead of just keeping with me all the documents I just have a backup of my computer so I do use technology but up to a certain extent I guess because this is important because there are so many documents I need to refer to at times and would not be able to carry them for sure um, it's very much protected so don't worry about that um, then I have another thing which I consider a lifesaver and these are foldable ballerina shoes they are black um, they are very neutral and I do keep them in this plastic Ziploc bag. Um, basically I'm in heels on a daily basis. I never and probably can't go to work um, in any flat shoes or something. Um, I like to be very very classic and elegant when I'm at the office. It's my personal opinion at the end of the day. Um, but after a very long day at the office and after running from meeting to meeting many of the times I just have also errands to run after work and when I leave the office um, many of the times I can't stand my shoes any longer and these prove to be a huge lifesaver because I just changed shoes and 
I can basically feel my feet again. So I would highly recommend that you have one of these um, in your bag. Um, they come from Shoal. It's S-C-H-O-L-L. And yeah, there are various types. I just got the neutral, which is the black. Um, then I have my work A5 planner. This is simply um, just a day per page diary. And I have usually here my meetings for today and my to-dos for today. Even if they are that I need to send an email, that I need to call someone, that's what I have in there. I used to have this as an A4, but I changed to this just for portability and I just found that it was better for me to just have an A5. Then, this is a plastic A4 folder and as you can see here it has written for filing. And whenever I'm working on something and I know that it is completed and I don't need to do anything else on it, I just put it in here because that means that whatever I will find in this folder, it will have just to be filed away because it's done. Um, I have completed that task related to that document and I don't have any more um, to do on it. So this is very handy because it's sort of, I'm sorting out through the things I have in my bag still. Then I have, this is another thing, this is a folder file. I don't know how much I can open, but this is just plastic folders. And what I have here are documents which I still need to work on. I call it my pending work um, file. So basically what is still in here like this, it means I still have to work on them. Another thing I have is this big domino. Um, here, as you can see, there is a lot of documents in it, and these are all pending matters, things I need to follow through, um, the different projects I'm working on, and there are a lot of projects that I'm working on. Um, I also have my personal things, so I am following up on things that have to do with work and on things that have to do with my personal life. So here I have documents I need to refer to, um, to do's related to different projects. This is my project management. Um, and here I do have everything I need. The last thing in my work bag is this A4 project book. And I really wanna explain what I have in here. You might say she already has the domino um, as a project book, but I'm currently doing a lot of things. I'm following up on projects that have to do with work. I am moving from one house to another. I'm finishing up my apartment. Um, I'm doing, I'm traveling. I am organizing a vacation which has to be, uh, in, it involves traveling, flights, and a bunch of other things. I do have so many things going on. And I was feeling lately very overwhelmed and very, very anxious. And I decided to try to find a system to incorporate all my to-dos and basically everything that I have to do. And I came up with the idea of having this A4 project book. As you can see here, it has five dividers and this project book just came with it. And it has, um, I've set up my personal to-dos, my apartment to-dos, my YouTube to-dos my work and my brain dump and miscellaneous stuff in here. So what I've done is I've made a huge list of my to-dos that have to do with my personal life. I've done the same thing for my apartment, the same thing for my work, and the same thing also related to YouTube because I felt I was not keeping that much up with my YouTube filming. Um, I have been swamped in so many tasks and work and when you have um, companies doing work for you and oh my god I have been very very much overwhelmed 
um, that I needed to find a way on how to keep up. So I came up with this, so now I have all my to-dos collected and the moment I do something from that list I will just cross it out. Um, for the moment this is working for me. I don't know whether I will keep it, but it's just paper. So I would highly recommend that whatever you think and whatever you feel that makes you feel good in that particular moment, just go with it. Don't worry about it. Just go with the flow. It's just paper. It's just a vessel. If you feel that it's giving you comfort and it's making you feel um, less overwhelmed and less anxious about what you need to do, just go with it. Um, this A4 project book at the moment is just my lifesaver once again. So I've mentioned three lifesavers this time. And for me this one is working perfectly because I just have to open this one and I have everything figured out over there. Um, this is a project management but here I do have things that I'm not using all the time as I said I just have all the documents that I need to refer to here is the nitty-gritty details of what needs to get done so for instance I might look at it as this holds all the project while that one over there just holds the step-by-step -step of every project I have in here. So the next immediate steps that I need to do in a project are basically listed in this one here. It helps me, it's helping me, and it has been helping me a lot. And I also have things related to my job and on the projects at work at the office that I am working on. So this is an incorporation of all the to-dos that I have. If it helps you, just go for it. I don't know, it's just my idea, but it's really, really helping me. So that's what I have in my work briefcase. As I said, what I also have in here many of the times are just the documents that I'm currently working on. Um, depending on the project I'm working at the office, but um, I also like to keep all my to-dos together. So I have my to-dos for work and my to-dos as my personal life. Um, for me, it's important to keep up basically with everything. So I hope that you like this what's in my bag video with a little bit of a difference and I also um, hope that I managed maybe to give you a bunch of ideas about what you can keep in your work bag, what might be helping you to focus more on the projects you are working on. So until the next video, take care, bye!